A recent study by intellectual property firm Appleyard Lees found that makers of electric vehicles are increasingly choosing solid-state batteries over lithium-ion batteries. According to the second annual edition of the Inside Green Innovation, Progress Report 2022, patent filings for lithium-ion battery technology are declining while those for solid-state innovation are rapidly rising, primarily due to Japanese car and electronics firms. Toyota holds the most patents for solid-state battery technology, and the company plans to introduce its first electric vehicle component powered by a solid-state battery in 2025. In addition, Toyota just recently filed a new patent for another solid-state battery in which Toyota's research team just accidentally created. Will this be the next holy grail of batteries? How does it differ from the traditional solid-state battery? Let's find out. High-end technology including wearables, pacemakers, radio frequency identification systems, and electric and hybrid cars all rely on high-voltage, solid-state lithium-ion batteries as their primary power source. The fact that they frequently blow up when damaged is one of their most dramatic downsides. A new composite material that is safer to employ in these batteries than conventional solid polymer electrolyte, or SPE, technologies was accidentally produced by Toyota's research team as they worked to create the safest and most efficient battery possible. The novel composite material from Toyota, which has a patent pending, has various advantages over conventional SPE materials. The voltage range is quite substantial. Ionic conductivity is optimal. Even at temperatures as high as 330 degrees Celsius, it exhibits outstanding thermal stability. The level of safety is significantly increased because it shows stability against cell damage. The Toyota team cited further disadvantages of conventional SPE materials. Due to their low thermal stability, batteries may experience thermal runaway, which could result in catastrophic firing. Their reduced ionic conductivity at low temperatures can affect their longevity and energy efficiency. Also, given the limited space for a battery in electronics or electric cars, low energy density batteries can result in quick energy depletion and short operational durations for products. We have improved the safety of lithium ion batteries by developing new electrolytes containing fire retardant molecules as a quasi solid state battery. Through nail penetration and thermal abuse testing, battery overcharging, electrolyte composite optimization, and battery optimization, the research team has continued to investigate ways to make the material even safer. Likewise, Toyota is also making progress in using sulfur and silicon as building blocks for solid-state batteries. Let's check out the progress and how this compares to other batteries. One of the areas of interest for Toyota's research initiative is a new generation of lithium sulfur batteries. The project team is focused on developing prototype sulfur-based cells with large storage capacity that are light and inexpensive. The sulfur-based approach may allow for the creation of extremely light and affordable batteries because of its high storage capacity and low material costs. It is also anticipated that using silicon as the anode material will greatly lengthen the cycle life of the battery cells. In February 2023, the project got underway. Due to their high energy density and stability, solid-state batteries based on sulfide are seen to be a potential replacement for today's lithium-ion batteries. These batteries promise a longer range and more safety when used in electric vehicles. Particular promise can be seen in the use of sulfur as the cathode active material. Sulfur gets extraordinarily high energy densities in solid-state batteries because it is devoid of the crucial lithium-ion technology components cobalt and nickel. The anode, however, presents significant difficulties in the production and functioning of the battery. Metallic lithium is being studied for use as negative electrodes in solid-state batteries. Lithium strong reactivity places restrictions on such cell system stability and safety. Toyota's research team is thus concentrating on silicon as the anode material, which has also shown to be a potential alternative in current scientific research for usage in solid-state batteries. A novel cell design that combines low material prices and high energy density should be produced by combining silicon, sulfur, or lithium sulfide, a solid electrolyte, and sulfur. For the team to be successful, they must overcome the challenges with sulfides. Dendrites A lithium metal battery cell's anode can produce dendrites, which are root-like structures made of pure lithium. As they expand, they rip the cell apart from the inside. They produce a short circuit and failure of the battery when they get all the way to the cathode. Even in lithium-ion battery cells from the past, dendrites can grow and set off fires or even explode. 
A cell using a sulfide-based separator can try a number of compromises to get past this issue. Use a silicon or graphite anode instead of lithium metal. Since the lithium metal anode is what generates the improvements, using a silicon or graphite anode instead of lithium metal reduces the benefits over older lithium ion technology in terms of driving range, cost, and charge time. This strategy is used by several other solid state businesses. For instance, Solid Power revealed a new silicon anode pilot line a few months after it published data demonstrating that its cells were unable to maintain acceptable rates of power using pure lithium metal anodes without the assistance of high temperatures. A silver-infused carbon-based anode, which is too expensive to be used in practice, was also used by Samsung to publish results. If subjected to extreme pressure, sulfide-based separator batteries may seem to produce respectable results. Samsung, for instance, tested its sulfide-based separator batteries at pressures between 20 and 40 atmospheres, Solid Power reported testing at pressures between 70 and 90 atmospheres, and a lab at Harvard recently published test results with a sulfide separator at pressures above 750 atmospheres, the pressure at nearly 5 miles under the sea, which is more than enough to crush a nuclear submarine. Anything beyond 10 atmospheres is probably impossible in an EV battery pack, while pressure on that magnitude might be feasible in a lab. Work at high temperatures, lithium softens at high temperatures, which reduces the likelihood of dendrite formation. But keeping the battery hot burns energy and shortens battery life, and high temperatures require sophisticated and expensive thermal management devices. Run the battery at low power, low power operation reduces the likelihood of dendrite formation. To compete effectively with combustion engine vehicles, EVs must be able to charge batteries quickly, which is impossible when a battery's power is limited. For most solid-state batteries, the inability to quickly charge is their fatal flaw. Instability The volatility of the compounds themselves is a further issue with sulfur dioxide. For instance, even if sulfides could stop the growth of lithium dendrites, they would still react with the metal, clogging the anode with waste chemicals that reduce power output and shorten the battery's life. The instability of sulfides will probably reduce their appeal for passenger EVs because drivers place a high value on lifespan and power. In addition to reacting with pure lithium, sulfides can also react with substances that are generally found in the cathode, such as the nickel-rich battery materials utilized in high-performance electric vehicles. There is a chance that if the battery is pushed too hard, it will start to decay on both the anode and the cathode sides, even if this issue can be mitigated by adding additional chemicals. Sulfide batteries must consequently be operated with significant performance restrictions due to their high sensitivity. For EV drivers who want to charge and accelerate more quickly without having to worry about damaging their batteries, this makes them undesirable. Safety This is perhaps the most important issue at hand. Sulfides, as was already mentioned, are very reactive. Water is one of the substances with which sulfides react, and when they come into contact with water or humidity, they release a gas called hydrogen sulfide. Due to its severe toxicity, flammability, and potential for explosion, hydrogen sulfide gas was utilized as a chemical weapon in World War I and has since claimed the lives of scores of employees in industrial accidents. Keeping water away from sulfide materials when they are being manufactured is a difficult, expensive challenge since even a little amount of air humidity can cause dangerous quantities of hydrogen sulfide accumulation. Additionally, a manufacturing flaw or auto accident could result in the battery cells being exposed to water while in use, which could result in a fire or poison the passengers of the automobile. Improved safety is one of the main advantages of solid-state batteries but using a sulfide battery introduces a whole new set of potentially dangerous concerns. Having said that, solid-state batteries should indeed become feasible within the next several years, given the progress that has already been made, as well as the hopes and intentions of Toyota and other research organizations for the near future. What remains to be seen is how much more feasible they will be compared to currently available batteries, which will also be becoming better over time. The technology will exist, however it is still unclear which will become widely used. With Toyota holding the most patents on solid-state batteries with over 1600 patents, one of these will surely end up in the production floor in the near future. That ends today's episode, and if you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about EVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.